Let's talk about the time Deadpool crashed the Hellfire Gala. The annual Hellfire Gala has kicked off and guests are arriving. Things seem to be going swimmingly. That is, until Logan is informed about a security breach right outside the island. He prepares himself for whatever the hell this incoming bogey could be, but he never expected it to be his absolute worst nightmare. Not because he's afraid of Wade, but because he finds him fucking annoying. Now, Deadpool is pissed because, well, they threw a party and nobody invited him. His feelings are hurt, and he intends to make that everybody else's problem. Now, Wolverine asks him if he's stupid. He knows he doesn't need to be here, but Deadpool argues that he's a mutant. And when Wolverine corrects him and tells him that he's not, Wade says he's an honorary mutant and he should be allowed to get shit-faced at mutant parties. As they stab each other and beat each other half to death, Wolverine's trying to explain that this is a diplomatic summit, not a keg party. As Logan stabs Wade through the arm, he tells him that he's trying to be nice here, but he's really pissing him off. Deadpool then fires off a couple of rounds straight into his face. This buys the Merc with the Mouth some time, and he takes off running again, trying to make his way into the gala, and to get stomped into the ground by Domino, who reminds Wade that he, of all people, should know this. You don't fuck with the X-Force, as she lights him on fire. But as the Hellfire Gala often was, it was a very eventful night, and it turns out that Wade Wilson was the least of X-Force's concern. So we see Wolverine rushing to respond to some retaliation from the recently scorned citizens of Terra Verde. Logan and Domino are battling as hard as they can, but eventually Domino's luck would run out. But thankfully enough for her, her old teammate came to party. Domino points out that this is a half-cocked plan at best. I mean, firing an RPG right at her is likely to kill her as well. But if you think that's going to stop Wade Wilson, you have another thing coming. Dodging Deadpool's missile at least did give Domino some freedom. As it would turn out, this whole situation with the Terra Verde citizens could have been handled diplomatically the entire time. Later at the bar, we see Logan explaining to one of the Terra Verde ambassadors that he knows a thing or two about losing control, about having somebody use his body and mind. As he and the ambassador toast, they're joined by an honorary mutant and an OG member of the X-Force. Gala now over and the party winding down, we see Deadpool finally getting a chance to do what he wanted to do all along, what he's been fighting for this whole time. Having a drink with a couple of old friends.